up guys? Wash day. Well, co-wash day. It's time to re-moisturize my dry, crustastic hair. But instead of using one of my usual homemade recipes, I wanted to make something new that my protein sensitive girls might be able to use too. So I'm gonna do this little dance for you and we'll get on to making this amazing conditioner. Oh, and this recipe is actually my new favorite. So even if you're not protein sensitive, I think you should definitely give it a try. All right, well, enough of the weirdness. Let's get on to the recipe. So weird sometimes, I swear. All right, so you're gonna need one banana. Bananas are really great for reducing frizz and increasing the moisture content of your hair. So toss that into the blender. Next, we're grabbing aloe vera juice. Aloe vera restores strength to your hair, soothing the scalp, conditioning, and promotes shine and reduces frizz. So add one cup of aloe vera juice to the blender. And then, of course, mix it all together. Try to use a setting on your blender that's gonna make it the smoothest. All right, using the same technique I showed in my avocado and banana video, grab a strainer with tiny holes and then pour the mixture into the strainer. Just let the liquid pass through naturally, leaving the banana pulp in the strainer. This is so important. If you skip this step, you're gonna get banana bits stuck in your curls and that is not a good time. Okay, so we're using half a can of whole coconut milk. This fatty substance is gonna nourish and moisturize the hair as well as strengthen. So add a half a can to the bowl. Next, we're using olive oil. Olive oil softens and moisturizes dry hair, promotes shine, and reduces frizz. I add about a fourth cup of olive oil to the bowl. Now this is optional, but I'm adding argan and rosehip oils. Argan and rosehip oils are really great for restoring moisture and shine to dry, brittle hair. They're also really great for reducing dandruff. Now you can add one of these oils, you can add both, or you can even add none, totally getting rid of it altogether. I'm gonna add six drops of rosehip oil and six drops of argan oil. So just grab a fork and whisk it all together. This is the perfect amount for my length and thickness of hair. Of course, make more or less depending on your own hair. And this stuff smells so good, like a pina colada with bananas. I was really tempted to drink it. Okay, so time to apply it. I'm just gonna apply it like normal, sectioning out my hair and painting the conditioner thoroughly into each section. And I apply it from scalp to ends. Don't forget the ends. Now, disclaimer time. Many women who are protein sensitive love bananas, but some don't. Many protein sensitive women love coconut milk, but again, there's still some who don't. So please, if you're protein sensitive, test this mixture on a small hidden section before applying it to your entire head. Protein sensitivity is a very delicate thing and unfortunately, it's not one size fits all. Every woman's unique, but I tried keeping the protein content to a minimum. So make sure you test it before you commit. When you've coated all your hair, cover your entire head with plastic conditioning caps and leave them on for at least half an hour. After half an hour, just rinse out the conditioner using the same method I used in my updated co-washing video. The next morning, you're gonna experience extremely moist and conditioned hair. My hair was so soft and shiny. This truly has become my absolute favorite conditioning recipe to this date. Definitely give it a try, whether you're protein sensitive or not. You'll love this mix. So, I hope this helps guys. I'll see you in the next one. 
So I definitely did the unthinkable and dropped my iPhone into a pot of water the other day. Yeah. Check out how I managed to save it and what apps I'm currently loving over on my style channel. And you know where to find us for our everyday vlogs. Click the link to the right to come hang out with me in my home. I'll see you guys there. Thank you.